learn about the distributive property. Okay? The distributive property is when you multiply an integer or a variable times anything that's a parenthesis. Okay? You need to understand that when you distribute, you give what's on the outside that's being multiplied only to everything on the inside. Okay? Now, this number 5 is being multiplied by 7 and 8. Okay? 5 times 7 plus 8. So we're going to, we're going to rewrite it as 5 times what? Seven. Plus 5 times what? Eight. Okay, so 5 times 7 and 5 times 8. eight. 5 times 7, 5 times 8. 5 times 7 is? 35. 35. 5 times 8 is? 40. And when I add them up, what do I get? 75. 75. Okay. Now, right here we do the same thing. 6 times 2, two plus 6 times 4. 6 times 2 is? 12. 12. And 6 times 4 is? 24. 24. When I add them up, what do I get? 36. Okay, so it's important that you understand when you distribute, you multiply what's on the outside times everything that's on the inside. Alright, now, I multiply my 7 times everything inside the parentheses. So I've got 7 times 40 minus, not plus, minus 7 times 2. 2. 7 times 40 is 280. 280. Now, a lot of you are multiplying. What's 7 times 4? 28. 28 and add your 0. That was as easy as that was. <coughs> Minus 7 times 2 is 14. 14. Now, when you subtract, a lot of you messed up on this subtracting. You make 0 into a 10 and 8 into a 7. You didn't do anything to 2. 10 minus 4 is 6, 7 minus 1 is 6, and you bring your 2 down. So it's 266. Okay. Here, I had to distribute the 4 times everything in the parentheses. 4 times x plus 4 times 8. 4 times x is? 4 x. 4x. Plus, 4 times 8 is? 32. 32. I cannot add 4x plus 32. They are not like terms. 32 does not have an x. So this is my final answer right here. Now I've got 3 times what? X. 3 times x minus 3 times 7. 3 times x is? 3x. Minus 3 times 7 is? And this is your final answer. Can I combine 3x minus 21? No. No, because they are not like terms. Say that. No. Now, here I need to multiply negative 2 times everything inside the parentheses. Negative 2 times x plus negative 2 times 4. 4. Good. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x plus Negative 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. I can't combine these. If I could, I would. You understand? If, I, if they would go together, then I should put them together. But these won't because they don't have the same variable. So they're not like terms. Here I have to multiply 4 times everything inside the parentheses. 4 times 2 plus 4 times what? 20. 20. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 4 times 20 is? 80. Which equals? 80. 80. 80. 80 plus 8 equals 88. On this problem, we do the procedure is the same even though there are three terms inside the parentheses. 4 times x looks like this. Plus 4 times 2 plus 4 times z. Now, 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times z is 4z. This is your answer. Can I combine anything that's there? No. Now, what if my answer was 4x plus 8 plus 5x? What, what, what could I combine? 4x and 5x, which is? 9x. So my answer would be 9x plus? 8. 
but that's only if I have something I can combine. Now here we had 4 on the opposite side of the parentheses, but it's still being multiplied, isn't it? So we still have to do 4 times 3 and 4 times x. 4 times 3 is 12. Plus 4 times x is 4x. Now, can I combine anything? No, 4x is not a like term with 12, so I can't combine anything, and this is my final answer. Here I have 3 times everything in this parenthesis. So I multiply 3 times 2x, which is this first one, minus 3 times 4, which is the second one, plus 3 times 3x, which is this third one. Now I've got to go through and multiply each individual. 3 times 2x is 6x minus 3 times 4 is 12 plus 3 times 3x is 9x. Now I have to add 6x plus 9x equals what? 6 plus 9, 15x minus 12. Now, how come I could combine 9x and 6x? Because they both had an x. They were like terms. Say like terms. Like terms. Good. So this is your final answer right here. 15x minus 12.